What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet moveset guide. Now, today we're gonna be talking about Belly Bolt uh, and later on today we'll be talking about Grafai Eye, but today uh, this is pretty much like the last day of like non-spoiler Pokemon uh, because everything else that's been revealed is either not fully evolved or is competitively kind of ass, eh, so I'll just wait to cover them. But yeah, um, I've been, if you don't know, I've been like waiting to cover spoiler Pokemon for a little while. I'm going to be going mostly in decks order to still avoid spoiling people. But yeah, today's the last day of that. And Monday, you know, I figure people have the weekend to play the game for a while. So it's not huge spoilers anymore. But yeah, today we're talking about uh, Belly Bolt. And this thing is kind of insane. It has a really cool ability in Electromorphosis, which we'll talk about in a second. But before we get into that, do me a favor. If you guys enjoy this video, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content. And honestly, like this moveset, it's going to go crazy. You, like you got to leave. It, it will go crazy. I'll explain in a second. It's very weird. But yeah, let's talk about Billy Bolt stats. So this thing is a pure electric type with 109 HP, 64 attack, 91 defense, 103 special attack, 83 special defense, and 45 speed. This thing's fat. Like, not just, like, visually fat, but it's, like, fat. Like, it can take a hit. Pure Electric is actually a pretty okay defensive typing. You resist um, Opposing Electric, which is obviously a very good offensive typing. You resist Steel, and you're uh, not weak to anything except for Ground, which we'll take advantage of that in a second here, but... Yeah, uh, it's very good, very fat, and its ability Electromorphosis is super interesting. It also has Static, by the way. Static's not a bad ability either, but uh, Electromorphosis is an ability that makes it so if Belly Bolt takes any damage, special or physical, um, it will get the Charged status, which if you don't know, Charge is a move from like Gen 3, pretty much. And it gives you plus one special defense, and your next electric attack is going to be double base power. Now, you don't get the special defense boost, but the double base power is what you get from this. So if you get touched by any attack, your next electric move, let's say you're using Discharge. That's an 80 base power move. Bam, it's 160. It's very strong. So this thing is sort of like, um, it's, it's kind of like Wobbuffet in that like you hit it and then it hits you back hard, but it doesn't need to be hit. So that's very, very awesome. Now, we're going to take advantage of this uh, of this ability with this first moveset, and it's going to go insane. And you're going to look at me and be like, why are we running these IVs and like this nature and stuff, but I'll explain. I'll explain. It's very strange. Uh, so we're running max HP, max special attack, and we're running a quiet nature, which reduces your speed stat. However, we are running perfect speed IVs, 31 and four speed investment. Now, why would we do that? That's because this thing has a phenomenal partner in Oranguru. Now, Oranguru is one of the few psychic types that gets access to trick room and telepathy. Telepathy making you immune to your partner Pokemon's attacks. Why is this important? We're running a weakness policy belly bolt. So here's the thing, Oranguru not only gets those tools, but it also has access to Bulldoze. However, Oranguru's speed stat is 60. I don't have a slide on here for Oranguru, so forgive me, but here are the numbers. Oranguru, because it's faster, under Trick Room, you want it to actually move before your belly bolt to activate the weakness policy with Bulldoze and then Belly Bolt will be able to attack with like a nuke move. So because of that, uh, you're gonna wanna run absolute minimum speed Oranguru, but this Belly Bolt, because this Belly Bolt is exactly one point faster than uh, your Oranguru is going to be. So what this allows you to do is your Oranguru, once Trick Room's up, the next turn you bulldoze your Belly Bolt. It's gonna give you plus two attack, plus two special attack, activate your Electromorphosis, and you're also going to um, Terra Electric your Belly Bolt to get that adaptability boost on top of it. So now you have like two times stab and then you're going to click Discharge and that is going to be a very, very powerful move. A disgustingly powerful move, actually. Um, and just for just for reference, uh, I ran a calc on it. We don't have like the exact like correct calc, but for a general idea as to how much damage this is going to do, uh, after all the setup, which is a single turn of setup, by the way, you do 52 to 62 percent to an Amoongus. That is, and it's like a special defensive Amoongus. This is like 236 HP, 156 Sassy. That is very, very good. Uh, you're two-shotting Amoongus, and why is the two-shot matter? Well, guess what? Because Oranguru has access to the move Instruct, which will make this Belly Bolt use an electric attack twice. You just do it twice, so you just spam like Instruct Discharge. Now, obviously, this can easily be worked around with the ground type which is why you have the water move. We have muddy water on this guy to make sure we can actually hit those two. So it's, it's just gonna be a strong like gimmicky mon. But yeah, like this is my favorite moveset out of the three. I find it very fun. 
yeah, this is cool. Anyways, second move set. Uh, we're actually going to take advantage of static, but you can also take advantage of electromorphosis if you want. It's it's your choice. We're going to be running max HP, max defense with a relaxed nature, and four special defense. This thing is very fat. It is very fat. Uh, and the move set is going to be protect or slack off, depending on your preference. Uh, Thunderbolt, Thunderwave, Eerie Impulse. And this is going to function as a supportive electric type that will allow you to sponge up pretty much any hit that you want given that natural bulk. Uh, and either hit it back with a pretty powerful um, 180 base power uh, Thunderbolt because of Electromorphosis, I believe. Uh, or you can just like spam Thunderwave across your opponent's entire team and lower special attack stats from nuke Pokemon like self-type Terra uh, special attackers uh, with Eerie Impulse and just shut them down. Because uh, you'll definitely be able to eat a hit or two from those. Uh, and Static is a decent ability because Fake Out is very common, Contact Moves are very common. Belly Bolt taking um, a little bit of damage and then causing people to be paralyzed is very good. Because of that, you can alternatively run uh, a Rocky Helmet instead of Leftovers or even like a Citrus Berry. But yeah, this is like the uh, the alternative moveset to the very cool moveset. I honestly, the gimmicky moveset is actually probably like the fun moveset for this one that's like very good. But yeah, it, it's a gimmick, I will, I will admit that. But yeah, this is just an alternative. Uh, and finally, for the final move set, this one isn't even that strange. Uh, this is just an assault vest set. We're going to be running Electromorphosis because it is probably the best for this one. Uh, and we'll be running uh, Minimum Speed, uh, Discharge, Thunderbolt, Mudshot, Chilling Water. Now, you're not allowed to use um, non-damaging moves like Eerie Impulse or Thunder Wave with an assault vest set. So you have to make up for those moves with uh, alternative options that help you be just as supportive while still doing decent damage. Uh, so... We're running uh, Discharge because it has a chance to paralyze, 30% uh, chance to paralyze anything on the field. Uh, Thunderbolt just for like your general attacking power. And Mudshot and Chilling Water because they're actually really cool support moves. So Mudshot is old, but uh, not a lot of people know what it does. It's 55 base power ground move, 95% accurate, and it guarantees you to lower the opponent's speed stat by one. So that's actually decent. You can protect with your partner Pokemon, slow down the Pokemon that would KO it, and then on the next turn, you'll outspeed them and KO it with the partner Pokemon. And then for Chilling Water, this is actually a really cool one. It's sort of a replacement for Scald, since everything lost Scald this gen except for Volcanion. Chilling Water is a 50 base power water move. It's a special attack, and every time you hit something with it, it gets their attack stat lowered by one. So that's very good for Billy Bolt. But yeah, these are the movesets I figured I would uh, share with you guys today. Uh, obviously, I think Belly Bolt is like a Trick Room Pokemon. It can be supportive in fat, or it can just be an absolute nuke. It's your it's your choice as to how you want to run it, but those are the two modes I find to be most interesting. Uh, as for like general partners, obviously Orangaroo is like very good, uh, but even if you just want to like slap it onto a team, that Assault Vest set or that Supportive set is probably fine. Just for like the offensive set, you pretty much need Orangaroo. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about Belly Bolt in the comment section down below. How will you run it? Do you like it at all? Do you think it's lame? Do you think it's going to be bad? I think it's going to be a fun gimmick, but that's about it. Anyways, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed, leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.